I thought I'd run through how to fudge around with page numbers and page breaks and section breaks and all these other funky bits and pieces um, so you can get your page numbers sorted out um, and so you can customise them the way you want. This follows on from uh, what this guy said on Twitter at Emantori underscore 96. Um, he was having some um, epic issues with Word 2010 and was getting really angry about it and... Um, he just couldn't get his page numbers to play the ball or play the game even. So I thought I'd run through how to do it and how to make it funky and so it actually works properly. Um, and this is just a BS document. It's just like a little test text and I've like put in some random BS titles and all sorts of stuff. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to insert our page numbers. Um, so we've got some sort of form of start point. So I'll like to just use uh, bottom of the page and put it over there. So then when you... Uh, when you um, Staple it in the top corner, then you can easily read page numbers with, um, without having to, um, yeah, just uh, just easier to read really. Um, so then, what we're going to do is, I'm going to give you scenario. So usually with um, stuff like this, um, if you've got a big report, you usually got to do stuff like so, something like appendices, which usually comes from other documents. So like PDF files, maybe you might might want to put a PDF in there. You might want some graph action from Excel because you've got some funky. Um, uh, pie chart action going on and you sort of don't want to uh, paste it into word because word fudges about with it and you've got some you know you've got some really funky stuff going on in something else maybe you want to print, print in color and another word document but you obviously don't you want to fudge around with having to try and go file or print or define what pages I want to print and things like that so you want to sort of um, you want you want to tell Word basically what page numbers you want where. So, for instance, 23 and 24 follow on from each other, and that's not what we want. Let's just suggest, for argument's sake, that we've got some random document we want to put in here. When we print it, and when we want to hand it in and staple it together, we don't want it to go from 23 and then a load of documents uh, or a load of pages, um, and then to 24 because it doesn't make any sense. So we can actually define that. Uh, before we go any further, though, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to enable this thing here. It's called um, showing high paragraph marks. Um, you could do that, and it makes things easier so that we can actually see what we're doing. Um, and, yeah, just just makes things easy to see, really. Um, it's really, really handy. You, it does, like, sort of save itself. So when you go back into the... When you create a new document, it'll still be there. But basically, you just click that again, and it goes away. Uh, I don't generally have it if you're just writing out because it's annoying and it sort of gets in the way. But when you like looking and proofreading stuff it's quite handy um, but anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to insert um, or uh, go to page layout and we're going to insert um, a break so we're going to go next page break now what it's going to do here is it's actually going to list uh, that for us which is really really handy um, now as you can see here that's now set that to number one uh, and that's 23 and that's number one but number one isn't really kind of what we want um, we kind of want to define that um, as something else ourselves. But before we go any further, um, the reason it's decided to play silly buggers is because it's you, it's treating this as a, a new first page again. So if you go to different first page number, untick that. It should then put that there. That's then define that as zero. You also want to untick linked previous because um, sometimes it decides it doesn't want to change itself. Um, I don't know. Word does some weird things sometimes. It just doesn't let you do it. And if you've got it linked to previous, it will then link it to the previous page number. And ugh. Just, just plain the ass. So, let's just like for a moment suggest we're going to put in a ten, ten page document in here, and so therefore we want to start at um, thirty four um, for argument's sake. So then what we can do is we can go right click, right click on the or double click on the um, the actual page number, and then right click on the page number and go format page numbers, and then what we can do is we can define it through here. So let's go thirty four and go. Okay, and then what we've got is what 34 and then 35. So then let's suggest that I don't know, perhaps we've got um, appendix um, D or something. Appendix um, appendix B uh, a la bay. So we've got that in there. And we want to put in our, our some more um, appendices. So then we can go our page now again. Go to breaks. Go to next page, and it will go to next page. And then what we can do is we can define our funky little bit in here. Um, and then we can go link to previous and we can go right click and that's my iPad going off and we can go for my page numbers and say we want to put I don't know find another five page document in there well for just say for argument's sake something like a well I suppose put six six page document in there boom um, so that's brought that up to 40 and that is kind of really it um, the only thing I might do is get rid of that because it just makes things look messy. Um, and then we can go down here, and we can do that, and it looks nicer. That literally is it. There's not really much to it. It's kind of quite easy to do. Um, 
but yeah, uh, section breaks, <laughs> kind of quite a piece of piss to do, really. Um, there can be a pain once you've, you know, it, it might take a while to sort of get your head around it. But once you've done it a few times, it's just really second nature. It's just a piece of cake, really. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I shall catch you in a later video.